me right in the place that hurt me. Are y'all listening to me? Right where I received the most pain, right where I received the most trauma, that was the place that God has blessed me. Mm. Uh, good God Almighty. Simba cannot take the throne until he does the roar. The roar, brothers and sisters, is a sign that the story has shifted. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening to me? I'm going to say that again. The roar is a sign mm -hmm. that the story has shifted. His whole life, mm -hmm. he's been going through changes. His whole life, he's been going through issues, problems, fighting his whole life. Ups and downs, like I said before. But when he does the roar, that is a sign that his whole life, the whole story, has changed. God told me to tell you there's about to be a shift. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. <laughs> I, I don't know if this is just for me. I don't know. Amen. A amen. But, but, but the Lord says he's about to shift some things in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Are, are y'all listening Thank to me, brothers Lord. and sisters? Yes. He's about to take you from a season of having pain and having hurt and having trauma and having ups and downs to a season that's full with joy, full with love, yes. full with meekness. Are y'all see see if you had pain your whole life, you start to think that my whole life is gonna be like this. Mm. Are y'all listening to me? If, if, you, if you've been abused your whole life, you start to think that the life is all about being abused. Amen. Mm. But but God says, I can take you, brothers and sisters, from being abused to being loved. Yeah. When we talk about the story of Job, we talk about the story of Joseph, and, and, we, and we look at Job, and we see Job lost his kids, and he, he lost his family, and he, he lost his prestige, and he lost his health. But did you ever notice that from after he lost everything, that God shifted his whole life? Yeah. Mm. Did, you, did you ever see that he lost his kids, but he got double? Yes. He lost his title, but he got double. And did you ever recognize that he never went back to loss again? Ever. Mm. He died with more. He died with double. Yes. So as it is with Joseph, Joseph went through a bad season in his life, mm -hmm. betrayed by his brothers, yeah. lied on by Potiphar's wife. Are y'all listening to me? In prison, out of prison, in prison. But but after a while, God shifted his whole life. Mm. To where he was the ruler of the whole Egypt nation, the second in command, and he never went back. Never went back. Good God Almighty. Are y'all listening to me, brothers mm. and sisters? God said, I want to shift your life. To where after I shift your life, amen, and you start to walk, amen, in the king you and the queen you, you will never go back again. I'm going to bring you into a land that is flowing yes. with milk and honey. Yes. It won't just be when you wake up, you have to have manna, and when you go to bed, you have to have quail. He says, but I'm going to bring you into a place that the blessing is just flowing. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He said the promised land is a utopia. Uh -huh. mm. And y'all listen to me. Yes. They went down into the promised land, brothers and sisters. That means they were surrounded by the blessing, brothers and sisters. When they looked behind them, they were in the promise. When they looked to the right of them, they were in the promise. Yeah. When they looked to the left of them, they were in the promise. When they looked forward, they were in the promise. Yeah. They were in the promise so much that their kids was blessed. Yes. Yes. That their animals was blessed. Yes. That their crops was blessed. Uh -huh. Everything that yes. Adam blow. Everything. Uh, everything that they touched was blessed, brothers. Yes. Everything that they had under their control was blessed. Mm -hmm. You got to break up that hurt spirit. Yes. You got to break up that poverty spirit. Yes. You got to break up that painful spirit. Yes. And you got to know you're a servant of God that's about to bring you into a blessing. Yes. One yes. blessing that's going to fold and fold yes. and fold yes. your yes. whole life. Yes. Thank, Thank you, God. Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. So the reason I said you got to stay in here because you got to get your kids ready for the blessing. All right. Are oh, y'all listening to yes. me? You got to get your husband ready for the blessing. Yeah. I got to get this church ready for yeah. the blessing. Yes. To let you know that there's about to be a press down, shaking Shake together, up, shaking yes. together, yes. and running, running over. over. Yes. God is just going to do it like this. Thank you, Jesus. My God. I woke up one day to do a job mm -hmm. this week. Mm -hmm. Monday, just about my day. Go uh -huh. make some money for my family. Yes, sir. Another day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me get a cup of coffee. Just yes. another day. What scripture are we reading? Galatians 2. <laughs> 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 I hate it. Go on about the day. Go on about the day. Go on about the day. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Let me take something out the freezer to cook tonight. <laughs> I can't stand you. But as I go to do my job, uh -huh. I knock on I see a house, mm -hmm. and I was looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. I said, Lord, I want that house. Well, so, wait. Can I have it, Jesus? That's what I always ask, Lord. Can I have it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I go to my place, and I'm on a job. And who opens the door is Sean Livingston of the Golden State Warriors. Wow. Mm -hmm. And here I am one whole day, just hanging yeah, out with Sean Livingston of the Golden State Warriors. That's my guy. <laughs> In a mansion with his wife, Joanna. Mm -hmm. The two daughters. And the nanny. And the nanny. <laughs> they <laughs> fold. <laughs> and the pit bulls. You need them? I'm hanging out with them. I'm not just meeting them. Right. Are, are y'all listening yeah. to me? Yeah. And, and God used that situation to show me I can change it just like that. Yeah. Mm, you you can wake up with your mind like here. Yeah. And this is just a normal day. Are y'all listening to me? And before you know it, yeah. I'll just shift it just like that. That's and that's what he wanted me to learn, brother. Thank you, Jesus. See, 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 God will shift it, and you just woke up just going through a normal day. My you God. just woke up trying to figure it out today. You just woke up trying to get ready for this day. But this is the day that the Lord, Lord has made. Me. I shall be glad. And before you know it, he'll shift your Ooh, word. Ooh, Jesus. Thank you, man. Are y'all listening to me? Mm. The war is a sign that it shifted. All right, Lord. Ooh. Are y'all listening? Hallelujah. God says he's about to shift it. Mm. He's about to shift it. Thank you, Father. He's about to shift you. Don't be scared. Mm. Receive it. Receive, there you go. It. Receive it. Mm -hmm. Don't let your situations talk you talk yeah, against yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. you. Yes. Don't, don't stop looking at with your regular eyes. It ain't nothing gonna happen. I just going to No, 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 no. God is a God of shifting. He's gonna mm -hmm. shift it mm -hmm. after you suffered a while. Mm. Uh, are y'all listening yeah. to Praise this? you now. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 47 is in the context of King Hezekiah fighting the Assyrian army. Are y'all listening to me? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The big bad Assyrian army who has conquered right. everything. Who has devoured everything. And he's even devoured Israel because Israel at this time is split. You have a king over Israel and then you have Hezekiah who is the king over Judah. Israel is, and, and the 11 tribes are there, and Judah is reigning over itself. Are y'all listening to me? Mm -hmm. And this Assyrian, this king, this, this army has devoured even Israel. But, but now he's about to come against Judah, mm -hmm. and he doesn't recognize that there's a lion of Judah. Uh oh Oh, God. Are y'all listening to yes. me? There's a lion of Judah. Amen. That you can't just run up on Judah any type of way. Amen. Come on. Because Jesus comes out of Judah. How will you destroy Judah? If you destroy Judah, then you will destroy Jesus. Are y'all listening to me, brother? Ju Judah is the door by which Jesus steps out of, brothers and sisters. Yes. And he's about to say, and he's telling King Hezekiah, I'm about to destroy you. I'm about to destroy everything. I took Israel, I took all the way to Samaria. And, and, and no God, not your God or their God, has delivered anybody out of my hands. I ran through cities, and no God has delivered for I am God. And Hezekiah tells the people, fret not. Hmm. Don't be dismayed. Mm -hmm. Be encouraged. Yes. Take courage in God. Are mm -hmm. y'all listening uh -huh. to me? For we're going to go down and fight. 
fight this king. And we believe that God will give us the strength to defeat him. Anything that you are fighting, brothers and sisters, take courage in God and know that if God be for you, yes. he's more than anything against you. He's more than cancer. Yes. He's more than high yes. blood yes. He's more than depression. Yes. He's more than poverty. Yes. I'm not saying it's not real. I'm not saying you're not affected by it. I'm not saying it doesn't hurt, but I'm saying you serve a God that is greater than it. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So he says, take courage in God. Tell somebody, take courage in God. Take courage Don't take in courage God. in your money, your pocketbook. Don't take courage in your mate. Don't take courage in nothing in you. Take courage in God. Yes. Hezekiah says, take courage in God. And the king gets word that Hezekiah is saying this to the people. And the king tried to send a, a letter to the people saying, no, you better not listen to him. Yes. I'm finna come. Mm -hmm. You always just surrender now. Because if, 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 if you don't surrender now, I'm going to kill you. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the devil trying to put fear in you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm always. I'm going to hear what that preacher said, but don't listen to yeah. that. You read that Bible, but don't listen to that. So I'm going to come and destroy everything. Mm -hmm. My God. So who word would you believe? Yeah. Are you going to believe in what the king, the God of this world is saying? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to believe in your God? Mm -hmm. The God of all gods. Yes. And the king talks so bad about Hezekiah and his God. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening to me? Yes. Even though Hezekiah is getting the army ready, they, the Bible says that at night, God sent the angel into the evil king's camp, the mm. king of Assyria, yeah. and the angel killed all of them. Mm. Mm. Are, are y'all listening yeah. to me? It, it's in Second Chronicles. And I'll give you the scripture. It's in, mm -hmm. it's in Second Kings. I'll give you the scripture that you can that you can realize that that he talked against God so bad that Hezekiah didn't even have to lift a finger. Mm. My God. And the men of war of Judah didn't have to raise their sword. But at night, when they were sleeping, when they were resting, Amen. Woo. God sent the angel to their enemies and he killed yeah. all of them. Amen. He killed all of them. And, and that Assyrian king went on the run. Amen. And when that Assyrian king got into his own people, the Bible says his own people killed him. Are y'all listening yeah. to me? Good God of mine. The thing that the devil is using to destroy you God is going to use that same thing to destroy him. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thank you, Lord. So, so after that battle, amen, they wrote a song and they said, clap your hands, all you people. Yes. Are y'all listening to me? It was after that battle, after God had fought for them, mm -hmm. after God had destroyed their enemies, after the thing that they thought that was about to destroy them, they realized God destroyed it. And they didn't even have to lift a finger. So they sing a song and they get in front of the women and the children and all the families of Israel and of Judah. And they say, clap your hands on you people. Mm -hmm. This wasn't an axe. This was a command. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? When you read Psalm 47, there he's not asking the people to join in and clap their hands. He is actually commanding the people to clap their hands. Are, are y'all listening mm -hmm. to me? Clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. So this shout is not a shout of pain. This shout is not a shout of frustration. Because we've heard shouts, right? You, you heard somebody in pain, you heard them, ah! You heard them scream. You got frustrated one day, you went, ah! You blew your lid. Are, are y'all listening yeah. to me, brothers and sisters? I know I have. <laughs> amen, 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 amen. But that ain't this shout. This shout is a shout of victory. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. This is a shout that we want. This is a shout that God has triumphed over our enemies. Mm -hmm. This is a shout, brothers and sisters, that, that the thing that I thought I could not defeat, 
I, I see lying before me dead. Are y'all listening to mm. that, that is this shout, brothers and sisters. This is a different shout, brothers and sisters. In other words, this is not even really a shout per se, but this is a praise. Yes. Are y'all listening yes. to me? Yes. This is 